Well, friends come and friends go. I'm afraid one of our best, two of our best friends are gone. The wizard had somehow retired and all that, and after last Saturday's show, partially, uh, partially's mom picked him up, and probably partially moved, moved to Texas. Vincent will be left, but they'll always be part of, of her as puppets. We'll miss him. However, the speed got room for two new people. That was quite amazing. Anyway, um, I heard we have this one, one good character, Sam, who wants to join, but needs to have work and act. But anyway, I have someone spawn, I'm sponsoring. Say hello to Boss and Andrew. Anyway, it's one of our newer, newer puppets. Hi, how's it going? Anyway, it'd be worth it. Better make this good, or I'm gonna personally let the Zizzy Blue Bop pound you. Alright. You make up a, a puppet shows and stories all the time. So there are so many stories that are around for so much long, kind of makes you wonder. Just maybe. They might not be made up. My story is about a famous miser. And about a carol that just won't die. Marley was dead to begin with. Scrooge Joey was dead, of course he did. Uh, seven years passed. The whole time Winston Connecticut was getting ready for Christmas, save for one. Mean old Ebenezer Scrooge. Scrooge's business partner. Basically was trying to careful the joyful spirit around him. The one thing Scrooge hated more than anything was the, was the Presbyterian Church's annual Christmas display. That made us regret the town square, like a boil at the end of Scrooge's nose. Anyway, he went to the mayor's office and said, Get out your checkbook. I'm going to sue. The trial took place that afternoon. He, he demanded the, that manger be cut down. When Scrooge returned home that night, there was a message from his business partner, Jacob Marley. His first Scrooge had been, he was toasting a glass into a world where Jesus had never been born. And, and Marley came to him. Um, pay's sake, don't hurt me, said Scrooge. As for pay's sake, that comes said, said Marley, and Scrooge wants off the big judgment table. You're getting a wish, said, said Jacob Marley. Find a world with like if Jesus had never been born. Christianity be a world changer world for good than any other moment in history, said the judge. Here I wish to call your brother Christianity. I wish to call your a blessing. I wish to call you, said, said Jacob Marley. What's your point, said Scrooge? Marley said, the point is, old, old friend, and is that Christ changes his lives, makes a hard life better. Therefore, C.S. Lewis, if Jesus had ever been born, said the judge, it will always be winter and never Christmas. The question is, are you better off? The answer is yes. God's reaching out to the world, said Marley. There is no God, said Scrooge. Scrooge. Scrooge thought he was going to go to hell. And Scrooge woke up, and they thought. And basically, Scrooge gave up his evil ways and lived the Lord. Basically, gave a lot of gifts to Bob Cratchit and his family and made sure that Tiny Tim got better. And every day, Scrooge is able to celebrate Christmas. And he gave up his evil ways and lived in God. So, what do you think? Um, so you think. Alright, um, and so what do you think? Should Boss Cadander be a part of our show? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Good. It's unanimous. Say hello to our new puppet, the Boss Cadander. Oh, Sam is going to join us next week. Don't miss for it.